Hello and welcome to LA Geospatial and we did something last year, something amazing, but sorry I could not finish it. But here I am. I'll finish it up now. So last year we did um survey plan on the cadastra survey. We did survey plan using ArcGIS. Most people use AutoCAD to make their survey plan. I have discovered that you can do that on ArcGIS. So we've done part one where we explain how to do that. But then, here in part two, there's a small trick you're going to do here, which I will show you. I don't know whether it's professional, but anyway, it's going to give us the result we want. So anyway, let's get started to it. So, um, we ended up with this on our last video, right? So you're going to bring, bring import it twice. Import the the same file twice. Let me do that so that you see. We import the file twice. So you will go here, import, this is the folder where mine is. So you go back and bring the second one. So it's twice. So right click on the first one, go to properties. What you'll be doing on the first one is, go to your bearing, go to properties, numeric, Direction, degrees, uh, then make it three place. Anyway, and then you don't really need this, so let's leave it as zero. And okay, okay. So basically, it's out. That's what you do with the first one. So you, and the second one, this one we we'll use it to label our degree. That's our bearings. So the second one we we'll use it to label our our length, which is the distance. So you right click on it. So it's like I'm becoming faster. So you right click on it or the top here. Then you come to properties, then numeric. You change this to three, just three decimal place and you okay. And that's all. So you also come back. So the, first, the second thing, the, uh, the next thing you do now is you go ahead to Label, so you go to property, you right click and go down to properties. Once you get to labels, you check on labels, this feature in this layer, and then you change this to bearing. Okay, so um, if you have, maybe let's say you want to have a distance, you do whatever you want to do here because the next thing you're going to do, you won't like it. All right, so let's label it. So it has label, okay? That's labeled. But then if you check, this one is out, this one is in, this one is in, this one is out, this one is in. So the next thing we're going to do here, we'll convert this to annotation. Okay, so you right click, and you come down to convert labels to annotation. This time, not in database, but in map. Oh, let's remember because if you say in database, it's going to convert it right in where you save it in database. Okay, so uh, you convert. So now that you've converted, you can move them individually. Okay, so you can move them individually. All right, so we can remove this. Okay, so we have one left. You see the trick I'm talking about here. Okay, so the second is you now right click on this one and you label so you see it's also all the distance have come out all right so now you also convert this to label through annotation but in the map okay this tool has also converted but i will have measured the this thing first but that's not a problem okay so now the next thing we will do is you double click on this and you space it. Let's apply it to see how it is not enough. Apply and see it's not enough. Let's increase this. Let's apply and see. 
apply let's say this is okay for us double click on this one and do same Just apply and see. So let's say this okay for us. We'll come to this, we'll do the same thing. Okay. And let's say it's enough for us. We come to this, we do the same thing. Okay, let's say this is also okay for us. So the next is we're on the distance. I guess the distance didn't hear us. So we're going to have, let's leave it at this. Let's leave it like this. Now let's increase the distance. You see, I will have increased the height, the, the, what do you call the, the font. But I didn't. So let's, do that now. The way that I was 14, I will make it bold. So let's do some to this. And then we adjust it to where we feel is better. Then we'll do them, we'll do some to this. Uh, let's say this is long now, it approximation. I will have so when you're doing your please while you label the distance. Increase the font. Go to property. Increase the font to the font you use on uh, the bearing, so that you don't have to come and do it again. So let's add meter to this. Okay. All right. So let's use the meter as double M. Sorry. So your M. Sh let's use double M. A meter. Let's use double M. Okay. So I've elongated the video because of this. So sorry, forgive me. Uh, elongated the video. If only I'd, I had. Um, I had made the distance to be equal before. It wouldn't have reached here. So don't forget while doing yours, try and have equal measurements of sorry font size of the the, the different um this so i think this is the last one done and then we're okay okay if not make adjustment to this this is h as well then m again so I think we are we're done with this here. So the next thing is we're moving from here into our layout view. We've been in data view all this while. So let's move to layout view and see what we can do there. So let's say we're producing this map in the scale, not really scale yet. Uh, under you go to file and you come to page and print setup where we set up the size we want to print the map okay so uh we are printing oops on a4 and then it's going to be portrait and then you select the scale map element proportionality okay so the next thing is you make adjustments to your scale okay so you use this zoom fix uh fix zoom in and then you use this pan to make adjustment to it, okay. Okay, so um, you make adjustment with this.
Okay, let's come back to this. There's one more thing we are missing right now, which is not a problem. Um, we need the area of this. So let's quickly create an attribute, uh, a future class, sharp sharp. Siri, so get this done. It's going to be polygon. So let's say area. Okay. Uh, well, there's this or this. I don't know which one, but then let's just let's go with the rough one. Just hope they're the same. Okay, so let's start off this editor and let's get this done with. So to get the area, we have to get. exactly on this point so we're able to get our area so let's save it yeah so let's pause it for that so that's when we we'll just need it to get our area and that's all so if you come to actually table we should have our area already so our area is already here so okay so we need to type on some of the, some forms. Yes, sir. Images. So let's type in those details. So I'm not going to do all of them, but anyway, you already know from where we are and I really know how to finish up the world. So we have, normally this is what comes in it, plan, steering, Rob Petty said to belong to Mr. Joe Shua Shamaki. At, I will type then or adjust it at Jalingo LGA Jaraba State Scale is one and 300 origin utm milner zone 32 area meter square Okay. And just put square meter zero. Okay, so what's our area? Let's check our area first. Our area. Let's go to properties to make adjustment to our well this if we are using kilometer this is 0 0.6 kilometer but this is square meter so let's just use it directly okay so we have our area here our area is square meter okay so now let's make adjustment to 
on here. So they said the area plan showing plan set to be null to Mr. Shamaki at Jalingo. Let's see how it's coming out. At Jalingo on a scale of this and the origin is this okay so for now let's bring this in first so i'm plan showing property set to be more to so and then we our uh, origin and this will be in a different color so let's copy cut this out since they are going to be in different color we'll use another text to write them so this is going to be in the origin is going to be in blue so let's cut it out again oh, okay get another text and we paste our origin okay so So um, our origin is, this is in blue color. So let's change it to blue. Is this blue okay? Okay. Then our area to red. Okay, so. Okay, so um, coming down here, let's try to fill as much details as I can. I may not be able to finish it off, but then let me just try to fill as much details as I can. Okay, so the next is we're going to have this down here where we'll fill in our little detail. So, uh, okay, so. This will be no color and then we're okay. So, and then we will divide this again. So place is Mary. Okay, so let's put in our little details here let me adjust this so that we have a blend first so i'm first going to move this one off because we're going to have um let it be there first Let it be there first for now. This video is going to take longer than I expected, but I promise you it's going to watch it. I believe most who know how to use AutoCAD to view this, by now they already know what to do. And then, so let's fill in our text here. So we're going to have um, the number. Enter our plan number here. Then here we're going to have surveillance office address. Then here we're going to have Certify to 
Initial Copy Simplified True Copy Of Original Plan Lord, let's bring this land made by me on twenty. Other than twenty, twenty, twenty-three. So let's look. How is it looking on? Okay, so, okay, so um, so let's make adjustment to all of these so that we can have our Okay, so now that we have this done, let's make adjustment to our plan bed. Okay, so also you know when you're doing cadastral plan, you must also show the um the point. So um let's quickly make another one. Let's just call it point, boy. You know how to call your one. There's going to be point. Okay, so um, I have to start editor again. The uh, I'm to be working on the point, so I'm going to place point on this. On this, on this, and on this. So I'm going to change the to do something like this, which will. Okay, so let's stop editing first, but then. Normally, you're supposed to have this place um, empty, so you have to also have a cord, but I won't be doing that. So you know how to you use your this tool to call it. Since it's, it's not, uh, it's not really, uh, what do you call it? It's not uh, a piece, so you can still be able to cut it, so you can actually cut, trim it up, but then I'm not doing that. I'm actually not doing that, so. Uh, so that we can save time of this video. So you can use split to to split out this portion, this portion, this portion, this way. I can split it out, okay? You can use split to to do that. I'm not going to show you that on this video. So uh, so now is to label this place. What's the control name for this? What's the control name for this? What's the control name for this? I want to do one of it. Switch figure text. You write, let's say it is SC, SC001, little two. okay, anyway. So, uh, you need it to go on, so you use your, want to go on the specific angle, so you use your rotate tool. Then let's say it's like that. I think I like it like this. So, you can do same to this one, going like this, going like this going like this 
So another thing you also need to do is you have to make adjustment to all of this again. And then they're also going to have make sure you have um what do they call it? You have your your coordinating where you do coordinate your work from. So let it's almost uh, because that's one of the final thing you do in cadastral work. You have to have where you connect your work from. So uh you can do that from here, but I won't be covering that on this video. So uh then the last thing we will be doing is to put our grid. So let's right click as usual and go to properties and uh grid, new grid. Okay, this grid is okay under so we'll go with this and then uh well we're only going to have a label. Okay, so and then let's Okay, so we increase the font of this small anyway. And the label, so you increase the let's say to 14 or 12, anyone, anyone that is okay for you, but then less, ah, it's too big, it's too big, it's too big. And let's reduce it to 10. Let's make it 10. Okay, so let's say it's okay this way. So all you need is just to make adjustment to all of these and see which one. Once you're okay with it, you can keep the export to the export option. So, uh, so let's I guess this is where we say goodbye and sorry for the delay once again.